Sup, chooms, how y'all living? Hope everything is Nova and you're all having a preem week. So, we all know there is a lot of fear-mongering about Finasteran out there, but what's less known is that there is also quite a bit of fear-mongering about topical minoxidil too. Not as much as Finasteran, of course, but there is still definitely some. One of the most frequent tropes that you see on hair loss forms is that minoxidil causes wrinkles or dark circles under the eyes or causes skin aging. This concern about topical minoxidil is inaccurate and it is based on some old research research from the 1980s. The research looked at the effects of minoxidil on the synthesis of collagen in the cultures of human fibroblast cells. Those are the cells that produce collagen, especially during wound healing when collagen is necessary for the formation of scar tissue. However, collagen is also important for maintaining the firmness of the skin. It is a fundamental component of skin. As we age, we naturally lose collagen, which contributes to the formation of wrinkles. So, the original research on minoxidil and collagen showed that minoxidil inhibits an enzyme that that is called lysyl hydroxylase, which is an enzyme that is essential for the formation of collagen. Not only that, but minoxidil also decreased the formation of fibroblast cells, which are the cells that produce collagen. This effect led the authors of the study to conclude that minoxidil could be a very useful drug to prevent the formation of keloid scars, which are the very thick and ugly scars that happen when too much collagen is produced. So, I'm sure someone in the comment section is writing right now, but Kevin, the research shows that minoxidil decreases collagen and that causes wrinkles, doesn't it, bro? And that's, of course, a sign of aging. So, how could minoxidil possibly be an anti-aging drug? But my wrinkles! Well... It turns out that the effects of minoxidil on skin aging are a lot more complicated than just its effects on collagen. Collagen, it seems to get all the hype these days, so much so that we see all sorts of supplements and household products that contain collagen, including everything from bottled water, toothpaste, deodorant, and even personal lubricant. These collagen supplements are of questionable efficacy, and I made a separate video where I talk about all that in great detail, and I'll go ahead and link it below. But, if we look back at the picture of the skin that I showed before, you can see that there are actually two important structural proteins in the skin. One of them is collagen, of course, but the other is a protein called elastin. As you'd expect from its name, elastin is a protein that gives skin its elasticity. Unlike collagen, which can be regenerated by fibroblast cells, elastin can't be regenerated. You don't produce more elastin when you're an adult. So once elastin is gone, it's pretty much gone for good, right? Or is it? Well. It turns out that the answer is no. That's because minoxidil can actually regenerate elastin. And as far as I know, it is the only drug in existence which has the power to do that. The research supporting this effect on elastin is from this article here. Now, this was a mouse study, but it did show that minoxidil increased the amount of elastin and the thickness of elastin in the mouse model that they use. So, I did a video on this particular subject a couple of years ago, which I'll link below, and I thought after that video, there really wasn't much more to discuss about this subject. However, recently, I came across a new study that implies that minoxidil is a highly potent anti-aging drug that might even be comparable or even superior to finasteride's well-established anti-aging benefits, at least as far as skin aging goes. So, this research should be of particular interest to Brian Johnson, aka the CEO of Project Blueprint, aka the God Emperor of Arrakis. I promise I'll stop doing that soon. Anyways, the study is this one here titled, quote, Minoxidil exerts skin rejuvenation effects in human androgenetic alopecia xenotransplants in vivo, unquote. That report is just a brief summary of the research, but the full research is published here with the title, quote, Topical minoxidil rejuvenates hair follicles from men with androgenetic alopecia in vivo, unquote. One of the most important causes of skin aging is oxidative stress, and so these investigators wanted to look at the effect of topical minoxidil on the biomarkers of oxidative stress in the scalps of men with androgenic alopecia. They used small skin samples from the scalps of men with androgenic alopecia and transplanted them onto the backs of mice. They then treated the skin with just standard 5% topical minoxidil versus a placebo treatment. The results are summarized in this figure here. You can see from the figure that minoxidil increased some biomarkers and decrease some other biomarkers as well. But the important thing to realize here is that the biomarkers that minoxidil increases are all associated with decreasing oxidative stress and have anti-aging benefits. On the other hand, the biomarkers that minoxidil decreases are all associated with oxidative stress and increased aging. For example, minoxidil increased a protein called lamin B1. Lamin B1 is a, quote, 
Crucial marker associated with cellular structure and integrity, indicating an enhancement in cellular robustness and structural stability, unquote. Minoxidil increased another protein called SIRT1, which defends against oxidative stress and contributes to cellular longevity. Minoxidil also increases a form of collagen called collagen 17A, which is important for stem cell function, and it strengthens the structure of the skin. On the other hand, minoxidil decreased the expression of a protein called P16INK. A4A, which is associated with aging of the hair follicles. It also decreased PS6, which is a biomarker for tissue aging. Finally, minoxidil upregulated VEGFA, which is a main driver of human skin rejuvenation. The investigators say, quote, in summary, our data demonstrates that long-term topical application of 5% minoxidil exerts surprisingly widespread rejuvenation effects on aged human hair follicles, unquote. The investigators don't know exactly how minoxidil does all of this, but there are several theories about how minoxidil causes hair growth at least. And the most accepted theory is that it opens up a specific potassium channel in the hair follicles. However, as interesting as that theory may be, perhaps that theory needs to be revised in order to take into account all of minoxidil's anti-aging benefits. As the investigators say, quote, Subsequent work now needs to dissect mechanistically how minoxidil exerts these unexpected, complex skin and hair follicle rejuvenation effects, given that these can hardly be explained by potassium channel openings alone." Unquote. The investigators then conclude, quote, Finally, our data also strongly suggests that topical minoxidil improves the oxidative damage response capacity of human scalp hair follicles in vivo, unquote. So, if minoxidil is a skin and hair follicle anti-aging drug, what about the other drugs that are used to treat androgenic alopecia, specifically finasteride and dutasteride? Well, I actually made a video on the effects of DHT on skin aging, and I'll link that video below. I covered a lot of ground in that video, but the most interesting research was a series of articles by a Dr. Gillow who showed that DHT specifically interferes with wound healing. He concludes that, quote, inhibition of 5-alpha reductases, either topically or systemically, might represent a new therapeutic strategy to accelerate healing in elderly males, unquote. So all of this research strongly suggests that a combination of topical minoxidil with a 5-AR inhibiting drug isn't just the gold standard for treating hair loss, it might also be the ultimate anti-aging treatment for your skin. As I've shown, minoxidil is the only only drug in existence which is known to increase elastin production in the skin. On top of that, it upregulates anti-aging proteins and downregulates proteins associated with aging. If you then add finasteride or dutasteride to minoxidil on top of that, you will get the additional benefit of accelerated healing of sun-damaged skin by suppressing the effects of the trash hormone DHT in the skin. Of course, there are also many mortality benefits to 5-air blockers too, including the ability to reduce the incidence of heart disease and certain forms of cancer even. That's that's why I made a series of videos urging Brian Johnson to add oral finasteride or dutasteride to his anti-aging immortality regimen, but sadly, so far, he has ignored my advice, and instead, he's buying laser caps from Dr. Dre. Look, I know Dr. Dre is a waifu, but I really think Brian Johnson could do better than laser helmets. I mean, he is on topical minoxidil, but he also takes oral minoxidil, which could actually shorten his lifespan due to the very well-documented risk of serious cardiac complications associated with the drug. Also, he has switched from topical finasteride to topical dutasteride, which he's probably not getting any benefit from whatsoever. It's likely not doing anything for his hair or providing any other anti-aging benefit at all because topical dutasteride is not well absorbed through the skin barrier. I talk about all that in my last video on Brian Johnson, which I hope he watches, and I'll go ahead and link the video below. So to my fellow hair loss witchers and skincare witchers, even though there are definitely other compounds that you can use that promote good skin health, like sunscreen and tretinoin, I think the evidence definitely shows that the combination of topical minoxidil with an oral 5-air inhibiting drug might very well be the ultimate anti-aging routine. So you can rest assured that by using just the standard FDA-approved treatments for treating hair loss, you are saving both your hair and your skin. Okay, chums, I think that's all for today, but I hope you all have a preem holiday, and I'll be back with more hair loss witchery before the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.